In this video we're going to take a quick look at simplifying expressions involving logs by using the definition of log. So if y equals log base b of x, that's equivalent to saying b to the y equals x because logarithms are inverses of exponentials. So the first one, we have log base 3 of 1 over 81 and we want to simplify that. So what we might do is set it equal to something, say y, so it looks similar to our definition above. And now what we're going to do is rewrite it as an exponential equation. Notice what happens. b to the y equals x. Base to the y, so 3 to the y equals x, which in this case is 1 over 81. So there's the equation we're trying to solve without a calculator. So the question is, can we write this as a base 3? Well, 81 is 3 to the 4th, so 1 over 81 is 3 to the negative 4th. So 3 to the y equals 3 to the negative 4th, or we get y equals negative 4. So this expression simplifies down to negative 4. Let's try the next one. We can actually do it the same way, except now we have an exponential. It happens to have a log in it, but it's actually an exponential equation. So now we're going to go this direction. We have this, we want to rewrite it like this. So our base of our exponential is also the base of our log. So log base 5 is the base of our exponential. What am I taking the log of? What it's equal to. So log base 5 of y equals the exponent, which is actually log base 5 of 10 and that leaves us with y equals 10. So this simplifies down to 10. So when you see this, when these bases are the same, they're basically going to cancel. and We're going to end up with 10. <laughs> Last one. We'll rewrite it using our definition of log. 25 to the y equals 5. Well, 5 is the square root of 25, so in this case, y is going to have to be 1 half. And that's how we can simplify logarithmic expressions by rewriting them. Always know this definition of log. That'll help you rewrite from logarithmic to exponential or exponential to logarithmic and allow you to solve them without a calculator.